plaintiff, Keisha LaPerson, was friends with the defendant, but she says after the defendant got her fired, she backed out of going on a trip to Las Vegas with her. Keisha is suing because the defendant refuses to refund her money. Defendant Jamila Ramsey insists Keisha got herself fired. She refuses to refund her money because all of the travel expenses were non-refundable. Jamila is countersuing for harassment and emotional distress. Start with you. Okay, I've been knowing Jamila for over 20 years, and I can't believe that she would stab me on my back the way that she did. Jamila stopped being my friend. She lied to my boss and got me fired for my job. Okay, you want to give me some background? Yes, I have known Keisha for 20, over 20 something years, but me and Keisha have never been friends. She was more of my sister friend. Um, I did not get her fired. She got herself fired. I have all the paperwork that's showing why she got fired. Um, is it that was part of your emotional distress claim? Yes, all right, we'll get to that shortly. Travel expenses. How does she owe you for travel expenses? Because in April of 2011, Jamila and her sister practically begged me to go to Las Vegas with them. And then in July, I decided not to go. So I asked her for a refund. How much money was it? $555 altogether. And when you ask her for it, what reason did she give? I'm not giving you nothing. That's all? That's no all. other reason? No other reason. All right, how did she cause you to lose your job? She caused me to lose my job because she told the owner that she had a personal protection order against me. And that's not true because I haven't received any type of paperwork stating that she put a PPO out on me. You all work together? Yes, we do. We did. Okay. Let me hear from you. Um, on July 29th, 2011, Keisha asked for a refund for a Vegas trip for the Hoodie Awards. There was no refund available. You're referring to the Steve Harvey Hoodie Awards? Yes. Mm -hmm. I have uh, received. I've participated everything. in that. That's a great awards program where they give out awards to grassroots businesses and community organizations and schools around the country who are making a difference in the lives exactly. of folks in the country. And so I really admire that. I wish they would put them on television. That's really making a difference. Keisha asked for a refund for a Vegas trip for the Hoodie Awards. There was no refund available. You're referring to the Steve Harvey Hoodie Awards? Yes. Mm -hmm. I have um, received I've participated to everything. in that. That's a great awards program where they give out awards to grassroots businesses who are making a difference in the lives exactly. of folks in the country. So I really admire that. I wish they would put them on television. That's really making a difference. Defendant Jamila Ramsey grew up with the plaintiff, and she claimed she was forced to file a restraining order against the plaintiff after she sent Jamila threatening texts. Go ahead. July 29, 2011, Keisha just told me that she didn't want to go to the Hoodie Wars no more. I said it's 11 days before the trip. Mm. So in the event that she asked for a refund, I called Vegas and they told me no refunds. Mm. All the ticket says no refunds, non-transferable. Have, um, is that what you have in your hands? Yes. All this information is from the Let's hoodie. see the ticket first that says okay. uh, no refunds. And that's for the admission ticket, right? Yes. All right. And let this me is by the hotel too. that says no refund. Uh, uh, let this me see what I'm suing for exactly. Oh, I'm suing her for $555. Yeah, a little detail. Break it down. Well, 120 was for the room. All right. 300 was for my ticket. All right. And um, the 125 is for my flight. Okay. And you say all of them were non-refundable? Everything. You just um, you the have tickets evidence was, that they were all yes, non-refundable? Yes, the tickets are non-refundable. The flight information was non-refundable. Okay. I have that. you something that says all yes. of that? Yes. All right. I see the tickets do say that. And the flight? Yeah, yes. Non-refundable. And I'm looking for... Non-refundable hotel. Oh, what? Collect all charges from each guest. <laughs> what? I know all that. I have my evidence right here. 
there too. <laughs> what does that Judgment. evidence indicate? This is what she texts me. Mm -hmm. You are the girl, you take a loss. I'm not refunding nothing out of my pocket. If you can get them to refund you your ticket money, then that's what you would get. Exactly. And I'll then. Why should I pay out my pocket? And the same thing she said in the day. And then we're going to give you 120 back for the room in Vegas because you can't sleep in our room. That's if you decide to go and you will get your show tickets when you get down there. Okay, but you didn't go. Uh, right, because so then I that's why she doesn't owe you that. You're saying that as if she owes you, but that says if you go, you didn't go. So she doesn't know you that 120 that she was promising. Now, this job thing is what we're going to get to next, and that's a big deal. Ma'am, why don't you tell me that? Like she said, we've been knowing each other for years. Mm -hmm. We grew up together. My sister hangs out with Keishla. With that being said, Keishla got in trouble at work. I'm a manager of a group home. Um, mm -hmm. I deal with mentally disabled men. My sister called me in 2006 and said, this is a personal issue for Keisha, but her mother had passed away and she needed a job. Mm -hmm. I said, okay, tell her to come up here and put in the application. I'll give her a job. I gave her a job. She was terminated because an incident happened at work on July 29th when she got wrote up. Mm -hmm. I wrote her up because she made a, a phone call. This what is why is she this? was terminated. Mm -hmm. That's her paperwork, why she was and terminated. And who is this? This is from the employer? Yes. All right. She was terminated not only for that, but what, for a series of other things. Why did you get things. the uh, protection order? Because she, her, I have a voicemail stating that she um, threatened you. Yes, her brother did. You have it I with her brother. You. Hold yes. on, her brother. Uh -huh. Yes. What did she do? She was in the background. Did you go to the hearing for the protection order? It wasn't none. And I also had. Well, there's always a hearing. It was. She never served me, Judge Mathis. You all and never had a hearing no, on this? No, never. And I went, this, what else what I is that have you have? About my money. Ma'am, you need what? to tell me some more about this workplace. You're not okay. getting that money back. Let the me work, make that clear. Okay. That trip, that's gone. It's gone. Forget about okay. it. Every single thing is non refundable and it's very clear. <laughs> That is so bad. I know, it's terrible. That is so now, now, let's move on that's to this good. workplace. Okay. That's the big deal okay. now. She has something that says you were terminated. So, did she tell anyone that she was going to try and get you fired? Or I'm telling the boss this so that she can be fired? There's I don't nothing. Know what she said. All I know is the owner came to me and told me that that's the reason why I'm being fired. Do you have that? This is what the lady gave me. The now owner? she have known that she, she have known that it, I harassed man. her and she put a PPO out on me. That's all I have. In July, during the conversation, she was being insubordinate toward management. That's what it That's says. That's what they lying. They lying on me, though, Miss Judgment. <laughs> For real. Am you need what? to tell me some more about this workplace. You're not okay. getting that money back. Let the me work? make that clear. Okay. That trip, that's gone. It's gone. Forget about okay. it. Every single thing is non-refundable and it's very clear. <laughs> that is so bad. I know, it's terrible. That is now, bad. Now, let's move on to this workplace. Okay. That's the big deal okay. now. Defendant Jamila Ramsey grew up with the plaintiff, and she claimed she was forced to file a restraining order against the plaintiff after she sent Jamila threatening texts. Your claim of harassment and emotional distress is for what? Because she was harassing me and stressing me out. I'm pregnant, and what I asked, What evidence do you have? I have statements. From who? From my husband and my ex's boyfriend. Saying what? Saying that... Saying that, that I couldn't, I lost the text messages. Okay. So they knew about the text messages. Okay. So they wrote a statement Same about what? Okay. About um, how it started the harassment from her brother, her texting me. Okay. What about back her? And forth. Her texting me back and forth. Saying what in the text? We're trying to be somebody else, saying that she was trying to ruin my marriage. Okay. And that's I your, was going to get God right. out the Your work. husband said she was texting you, trying to ruin your marriage. Right. What else? Um, starting me saying that when I get off work, I'm going to get beat up. And you don't have that text message. Did you go to your supervisor about that? No, Why? because it was a threat of violence against you is just as important to report I, this as is, when... is hold on as is a restraining order. The reason you tell the boss about the restraining order is so that the boss can make sure you're protected. So you certainly would tell the boss I've been threatened with violence by this person. 
it's miss i mean judge master the reason why i didn't tell her at first because i really thought it was petty okay. and i thought that it was still equal, petty it it's still petty i really thought it would end your claim is dismissed you know what no 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 i know okay. enough for you okay. no, 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 okay. no, no, no. <laughs> your claim is dismissed okay. all of the policies were non-refundable okay. you suing her regarding getting you fired is not the case the employer said you were fired <laughs> because you got insubordinate and indignant with your boss and so they fired you your counterclaim is dismissed for harassment all i'm hearing is what her brother did to you and that's not actionable against her have a good day ladies uh, i didn't get my refund back and she knows she owed me grow up and stop smoking pot <laughs>